Let me let me start though with Congressman Stutzman's uh, comments, saying that he's not sure what Republicans uh, really want. So, bottom line, of course, what is it the end game here? What is it that they're asking for? You're asking for? Well, first of all, I don't. I, I think what he what he's saying is that we don't know what we're going to be able to get out of it because the president hasn't been willing to talk about this issue and negotiate something that can resolve the problem. I mean, you just heard the president just say. I don't know, 15 minutes ago, there's not going to be any negotiation. He refuses to even sit down and talk to the, these guys in a, in a way uh, that is in a good spirit and a negotiating spirit. In fact, he, he, he called a meeting yesterday, I think he reported on it, of course, that he, he called in the Speaker and Mitch McConnell and the others and said there's not going to be a negotiation. That's the well, problem. The, the, the problem the, the is president the said, Republicans though, that he's are willing to negotiate. solution after he's, solution. He's willing to negotiate with Republicans about the law. And what? what it means what? Uh, when when they come uh, to him what? for solutions and ideas. But why do we need to <laughs> attach the solutions or changes that go along with a law that has been vetted by uh, the the Supreme Court by a mandate from the people <clears throat> reelecting the president in both houses of Congress? Why should that be attached to shutting down the government? And as the president is saying, basically writing a ransom note uh, and asking for some type of goodie bag in response to Congress doing its job to govern well those are some pretty good talking points let me let me just rewind They're not talking points um, that's the, just the house, that's directly well, from well, what the president sounds, just gave I, a it speech sounds like on. i'm debating it sounds like i'm debating the chairman of the dnc here thomas okay that's fine i'm happy to debate you you passed a bill and in the, the house Senate correct has a majority, but if we talk about the aca then, that passed both houses of congress that passed through the white house and it also passed through vetting of the supreme court and the american people elected a president back in office I, I on that thomas, mandate I, against I should, the republican opposition Opposition who ran against the mandate, who should we remind everybody, actually instituted that exact thing in Massachusetts <laughs> in 2006. This is a, this is a joke. I, I think you ought to just apply for a job in the Obama administration or in a communications department. No, I'll of come the work DNC for you guys and help you where it sort out like, what's going on over oh, there because okay, your good. message is a little yeah, right. befuddled. Because right now just... what we're seeing is how government is not working properly. There is a great dysfunction, and you have to agree with that, Ryan. That there's a great dysfunction in Washington, D.C.